Hi there, James Yule here. In this video, I'm talking about my backstory, if you will, how I came to do what I do and what qualifies me to do what I do. So my career in selling started in 2006 and it spanned all the way across until 2018. I did 12 years uh, as a key account manager for Damon and Mercedes-Benz in the UK. In that time, I did around 600 million pounds worth of vehicles. And interestingly enough, I never missed a monthly target in that time, not one single monthly target. Now, I didn't actually really understand how I wasn't missing any targets. I've got a very strong work ethic. I would come to work early and stay late and do all those kind of things. But the sales just seemed to happen. Everything just seemed to work. Now, it wasn't necessarily the product. Obviously, Mercedes-Benz is a great product, but I had colleagues who couldn't hit the target and I couldn't miss mine. So it definitely wasn't a product thing. And I realized over the years that actually selling comes down ultimately to communication. It's about good communication and finding a connection point. It's not about techniques and trickery. It's a conversation, but with money at the end. And it's how you deal with people and how you plan your diary and how you approach things that really can make all the difference. So after my 12 years at Daimler, I decided that I wanted to break free. And somebody told me that, hey, you should teach people how to sell. And at that point, I didn't really understand the implications of becoming a sales consultant, sales trainer and having my own business, but I started to entertain the fact. And I joined a networking group, BNI, Business Networking International, and I started working with some uh, clients, I call them clients, they didn't pay me anything, working with some clients for free, um, to just understand what's my offering going to be. So my initial uh, offering was, I'm James Newell, I'm a sales consultant, I can definitely help you sell more stuff, but I've got no idea what I'm actually gonna do, so you're not gonna pay me, I'm gonna learn and we're both gonna win. And I started the proceedings by asking questions about their business. Well, what do you do and how does it work and why should I choose you and why do you charge what you charge, etc. And it became really clear really quickly that as flippant as it might appear, it's actually quite difficult for people to tell you what they do for a living, what they offer. And if you ask somebody why they're so expensive, why should I choose you over the competition? What do I really get for the money? As a buyer, very basic question. But if you ask that, that can unseat most people. And I realize that most people, although they invest in branding, the same logos, fonts, and colors, and we understand the importance of that, when it comes to selling, we pretty much leave our sales conversations to chance. We have no structure to follow, nothing at all. We just see what happens and hope for the best and hope you're not gonna ask me why I'm so expensive. So I intrinsically understood that I needed to create a fixed price, fixed deliverable offering with a very explanatory name. And that was where Clear Sales Message came from. So I'm called Clear Sales Message predominantly because I want you to be able to understand what I do just from the name of the offering. So in those three simple words, you can guess at what you think I do and you should be absolutely right or at least in the ballpark, which is half the battle won. Lots of businesses have abstract names or names that don't really do any commercial justice to their offering. So I created the name, Clear Sales Message, Fixed Price Offering, and that was it. I started working with some clients. I thought it'd be a great idea to actually document my methodology and what I'm doing, because if I could document it and write a book about it, then I could teach it to other people. So I created the Clear Sales Message book in 2017. And then from there, I worked with more and more clients, and I understood more and more about the sales landscape. And it was at that time that I decided I wanted to start documenting the different facets, the different behavioral and psychological and mechanical things that were play in selling situations. And that's when my modular selling system came in. So towards the end of 2017, early 18, I started to document these little things. I call them my black and white slides, which is my modular selling system. And the first one was, well, why can't people explain what they do for a living? Why do they find it so hard? There must be a reason for that. It's a very common thing to talk about features over benefits, all that kind of stuff. And I happened across this. This is called the false consensus effect. So the false consensus effect states that we see the world from our point of view. We talk about things that matter to us in terms of we understand, and we think everybody else has got the same understanding, the same consensus. But by definition, it's false. We have different ages, races, genders, experience, viewpoints, etc. So I'm talking to you about my offering, all the things that matter to me, and I expect you to find it just as exciting as I do, and it's not the case. And that's why we can feel pushy when we sell and also why we can talk about features over benefits. So once I understood some of these mechanical things, the false consensus effect, some of the actual reasons why we behave the way we do and the systems to overcome that and work differently, that then became a body of work which I call understand your buyer. And understand your buyer, which is my modular selling system, that became the backbone of everything that I do. All of my online courses, all of my books, absolutely everything. I need to be able to explain to you 
in a very simple, modular and actionable way how to do things and how to achieve a result. It kind of irks me that most selling is quite theoretical and quite perfect world theory. And it's quite hard to take it from the learning into the real world and to action it. So I started at BNI, wrote a book, wrote a couple more books. So after Clear Sales Message, I wrote how to write a tagline. So a tagline is a great way to succinctly articulate your offering, but there was no play by play templatized system for doing that. So I created the book, How to Write a Tagline. Then I wrote the book, Understand Your Buyer. I launched a course called Selling Confidence, which is the behavioral side of selling and how to ask for the business and handle objections and deal with the mechanics and the behavioral side of finding, engaging, closing and following up people. And then from there, I began my work in the educational world. So I licensed my methodology to the Mayor of London's office, London and Partners. And I also work with UCL, University College London, on their uh, entrepreneurship incubator called The Hatchery. So that's my brief synopsis. Hopefully this video hasn't been too long for you. That's a brief synopsis of where I came from and why I do what I do. For me personally, it's very important that you understand that I'm not a self-appointed expert. I'm still uncomfortable with the term expert or guru or anything like that. I'm just a few steps ahead than you are in terms of how to sell and how to understand it. And I'll be the first to point out that things that I cover and things that I talk about are actually very simple in nature. They're very basic, very straightforward. The difficulty is knowing of them first and foremost and remembering to action them at the correct moment. So by creating simplified structures and easy to remember things to keep you right in the moment so you know what you're doing, one of my most popular phrases is don't chase them replace them, which comes back to this notion of you don't need to chase people up endlessly, actually take that energy and put it into finding more potential clients and you'll feel better and so will they. So making sure you can action it in the moment is always my main focus. So that's a brief history of me, my company, my methodology, my products and everything that's so it started around sort of 2017, but got very serious in 2018 and, and it became my full time uh, going concern business. And it gives you an understanding of where I came from the kind of things that I do, and also in terms of uh, the future and where I'm going, licensing my methodology and having a really standardized system, being able to create the notion that selling is just an acquired skill like anything else. And it's something you can learn in a play by play, paint by numbers, follow the recipe kind of approach. That is my ultimate goal here, is to break selling down, to demystify it, to allow people to understand that you don't need to fear, hate or avoid selling. It's just a conversation with money at the end because selling is one of those skills that once you get it right, it can literally change your life. It can change the lives of those around you. And as far as I'm concerned, it's a very simple thing to do, a very simple thing to learn. You just need actionable, proven, step-by-step -step ways of doing it. And that is what I dedicate my life, my business and everything that I do towards. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.